Adding subtitles can seem like a boring and lengthy process. I mean, who has time to go clip by clip and manually type out sentence after sentence? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. However, what if I told you I can save you hours of incessant typing and that you can auto-generate subtitles in under two minutes? Hi, I'm Lauren, and I'm gonna show you not one, but two of the quickest and easiest ways to auto-caption your videos. So let's get started. We're gonna open Premiere Pro, and if you don't have Premiere, feel free to skip forward in the video to the chapter where I offer you a free alternative called Veed. Now in Premiere, I'm gonna create a new project, give it a name, choose where to save it, and click OK. Now we need to import the footage. So to do that, hit File, Import, or you can hold Command and I together if you are using a Mac. Now select the video file and you'll see it's imported in the bottom left hand corner. Drag your video into the timeline and now it's time to add captions. In the bar at the top, you'll see captions and graphics. Click that and then click transcribe sequence. Choose your language and below that you'll see a few different options. An important one to select if there's more than just you talking in camera is opt in to recognize when different speakers are talking. But because I'm writing solo on this clip, there's no need for me to check that. Now click transcribe and give it a couple of minutes to work its magic. One minute, 37 seconds later. Now we can see all the text is transcribed. It's time to go through it and correct any errors. What if I told you that you could visit an entire country on foot in under an hour? Yes, you heard right, in under an hour. I'm talking about Vatican City, home of the Pope and capital of Catholicism. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. So you can see where I've said 100, it's interpreted as 108. So to correct this, simply click on the text, delete the eight and add a zero, simple. Once you're finished correcting the remaining errors, it's time to add captions onto the video itself. Click create captions and subtitle default is perfect. No need to change that. Here you can adjust the captions by shortening the characters per sentence, but for me, 42 is fine. And you can also decide whether you want one or two sentences on screen. Just do this by changing it to single or double. Now, once you're happy with your choices, click create and give it a minute to generate the text. Next thing to do is make it your style. So highlight all of the caption text and choose your font. And here you can play with colors, shadows, and even add a background if you like. Now to export the video, click file, export, and media. Here you'll see captions and you've got one of two options. So you can save the subtitles as create sidecar file, which will give you an SRT file, or you can choose to burn captions into the video and they will stay on your video permanently. And because we want them burnt on, we're gonna choose that option and hit export. And here you can see we've got all of our subtitles now on our video. What if I told you that you could visit an entire country on foot in under an hour? Yes, you heard right, in under an hour. Now, if you don't want to pay £20 a month for Premiere, or if you find that Premiere is a little complicated, let's face it, it's a very intricate workspace, I do have another solution for you that is free to use and much simpler. We're going to use V.io, the online editing platform. So now we're in Veed, we're going to click Create New Project, Upload Media, Select your video clip and give it a second to upload. Next in the sidebar, you'll see subtitles. Click that and click auto subtitle. Choose your language and hit start. It'll take a minute or two to transcribe the audio. And now we've got our audio as text. It's time to check for any errors and correct them. Once that's done, click the styles tab. And here you can have fun playing around with different colors, fonts and text styles. Just make it your own really. And once you're happy with your choices, it's time to render. So click export in the top right hand corner of the video. Choose your render settings. I'm gonna go for HD, click export, and it'll take a minute here to render. Now, you have one final chance to watch your video entirely through and make sure everything is as you want it. What if I told you that you could visit an entire country on foot in under an hour? Yes, you heard right, in under an hour. I'm talking about Vatican City. Lastly, click download, download MP4, and that's it. So there you have it. There is two methods of how to quickly and easily add subtitles to any video. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go on and give us a like, subscribe, and if you have any comments, please pop them down in the section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.